Cutting across live to Prime Minister Modi over there. He is at this program in Tamil Nadu. As you can see, he is joined by Union Civil Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin, Governor Ravi as well present on this occasion. The Prime Minister is of course in Tamil Nadu over the next two days. He is going to visit three southern states. So he has a very hectic schedule ahead of him in Tamil Nadu. So that is of course very critical, a visit that he is making to the southern states of uh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu as well as uh, Karnataka. Vande Bharat Express train hai, usko hari jhandi dikha kar ravana kiya tha. Aur yaha par Chennai mein Pradhan Mantri kai sadak par yuznao ka bhi udhghaatin karne wale hai. Aur is wakt ye joh hum drishya aapko dikha rahe hai, ye Chennai airport ke hai. Pradhan Mantri waha par pahun chuke hai. So those are images of uh, the Prime Minister at the Chennai airport uh, there, of course, uh, reviewing uh, some of the work. He will be, in fact, uh, inaugurating the new integrated terminal building of uh, Chennai airport. The construction of that new integrated terminal building, which is the T2 phase 1, is in an area of... Uh, 1,36,295 square kilometer and has been completed at a cost of 1,260 crore rupees which will in fact increase the passenger serving capacity of the airport from 23 million passengers per annum to 30 million passengers per annum. You can see over there that the Prime Minister and the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu there sharing some light moments as well as the Prime Minister takes the tour of the new integrated terminal building of Chennai airport which he will be shortly inaugurating. He is of course joined by Union Civil Aviation Minister Mr. Jyotiraditya Sindhya as well as the Civil Aviation Secretary Mr. Rajiv Bansal in those images. They are giving a tour to the Prime Minister of the changes which have been made. The new terminal building in fact is a striking reflection of uh, the local Tamil culture incorporating traditional features such as the column which is a pattern or design drawn in front of South Indian homes sari, temples and other elements that highlight the natural surroundings. So some of those uh, decor changes which have been made as well, elements which have been added into this new integrated terminal building of uh, Chennai Airport, which is T2 Phase 1. Again, it has been built over an area of 1,36,295 square meters and has been completed at a cost of 1,260 crore rupees which is expected to increase the passenger serving capacity of the airport from 23 million passengers per annum to 30 million passengers per annum. Some swanky new changes which have been made to this new integrated terminal building. This is given of course uh, the need to raise the capacity of the airport which is seeing a much higher passenger footfall than was anticipated at the time that its initial terminal building was built and in order to of course cater to those domestic and international passengers who make their way in and out of Chennai airport this new integrated terminal building is being inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Remember he has a very hectic schedule as he visits Telangana, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka over the next two days. He in fact uh, earlier today was the, at the Sikandrabad railway station where he flagged off the Sikandrabad Tirupati Vande Bharat Express at uh, in Telangana. And then he is now visiting Tamil Nadu. He is at the Chennai airport as we speak. Pramod, my colleague, is of course joining me over the phone line at the moment. Some swanky new changes, of course, keeping in mind local Tamil culture. The decor also signifies it. A big boost in terms of... Uh, air passenger travel for Chennai, Pramod. Ready? Okay, we'll try and reconnect with Pramod. Pramod, if you're able to hear me, we're seeing those images of Prime Minister Narendra Modi joined by Chief Minister Stalin, Union Civil Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya, Governor Ravi. He is, of course, uh, reviewing the work which has been done at the new integrated terminal building of Chennai Airport, which he will be, in fact, shortly inaugurating. A big boost for those, of course, uh, who will be using that airport because this means increased passenger capacity. Pramod. 
Absolutely. We are currently uh, standing at uh, uh, the uh, the railway station where the uh, Vande Bharat train is waiting for uh, the, the Prime Minister to uh, come and flag off. And uh, apparently, he's currently in the airport. And there also a massive program, a new terminal that has been uh, constructed. The Prime Minister is providing it to the, uh, the passengers and everything. All the Chennai airports definitely needed such a kind of uh, 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 infrastructure over there. And today, the Chennai airport receives it. Similarly, we are like another most important event that has been waiting for a very long time is the Vande Bharat train that will leave from Chennai uh, Central Station, that is the NTR railway station, to Coimbatore, and this is also waiting for the Prime Minister over here. And after which he is going to Palavaram, where a lot of uh, a public welfare schemes the Prime Minister will inaugurate. So across the city, lots and lots of people are waiting for the Prime Minister, waiting to welcome him. So I, and that way, we could see a lot of vibrance and colour awaiting the Prime Minister. Okay, so Pramod there, of course, bringing us all the details of the Prime Minister's visit to Tamil Nadu. He's at the Chennai airport right now. He will later be flagging off the Chennai Coimbatore Vande Bharat Express at the MGR Chennai Central Railway Station as well. So a packed program there for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Pramod, thank you so much for joining us with all of those details.